Welcome back everybody, Harry here, known as Trade Shop, bringing you today's video as always, updates on Bitcoin, Ethereum, as I do every single day, keep these videos nice, short, concise and to the point. And uh, let's get into it, let's see what the market wants to do today and are we going to get a breakout or not. So let's have a look. So looking at the 4 hour, we do have a, a break of uh, structure which is nice to see. We did have a 4 hour pullback uh you know basically the structure is not broken unless we close below 47961 or take out this previous wick uh we are coming up slightly from that now and uh just based on this it does tell me there is co continuation structure looks good breaking the last high taking out the previous wick uh it does look good it does look good indeed uh, momentum up on the four hour quite nicely uh i think it was catching these lows and uh, not really but there was momentum on the four hour nice and up uh, one hour should be i think still down at the moment we'll have a look yeah yeah uh, one hour is just crossing down which is not the best so that might mean we see some selling pressure uh you know the one hour really does have to hold this one uh 49, otherwise i could see it come a wick down with these last wicks again but you know possibly an opportunity not financial advice but the the one hour is a bit more worrying because we did close at a resistance which uh, is telling me a different story on the lower time frames and now if this closes like this in 47 minutes essentially we put in a lower high and uh i mean yeah exactly you know see we have we're closing at resistance like so which is not really the best and uh, i don't really like that i would have liked to seen it at least we did break the wick which is pretty good but uh you know i would have liked to seen it close above uh looking at like the 24 uh the daily so the daily looks pretty good yesterday we did close bearish which is not you know a very bad thing but what happened is as soon as we open up we we broke this wick should which should tell us continuation i mean higher time frames you know look a lot more obvious uh daily stokes you know are hanging up there which is still good 12 hour stokes where's my 12 hour there you are you know still hanging up there uh you know looking at bollinger bands we'll see what they're saying and uh yeah, I mean, it's not nothing really worrying, you know, nothing really evident. We were still, you know, I just want to see where the top side Bollinger Band is coming in at 53,000, which is, uh, you know, one of the possible targets. If I were to bring back my drawings, I think I do have something around there. Yeah, you see the top side Bollinger Band is coming in around that area. And uh, I just want to show you something actually very, very interesting. And if we go to CME, CME is a very clear chart on the four hours. I don't know what that is. That's weird. Oh, it's because I'm on the daily. CME is uh, a very clear chart. When does the two-day close? Well, it closes today, yeah. So I would like to see the two-day close above the topside Bollinger Band. Yeah, so that's what I would like to say. If we do get the two-day close today above the topside Bollinger Band at 49,000, I do think we'll have immediate continuation. And this will give me huge bias into upside continuation. But looking at uh, the CME chart, it's very clear we have an ascending triangle. I'm not a pattern trader, but if you've noticed ascending triangles work out in the past, here was the last ascending triangle and look how that's worked out. And now we, we've we uh, we've created a new one here and this is evident on the four hour. But uh, you know now we do have the chance on CMEs to close above. You can see we failed once and now if we do close above in an hour and 55 minutes and I do look for continuation, taking the pattern target, it's bringing us to that $53,000 area, which on Bitcoin, if you minus 500, it will be about 50 uh yeah so uh, yeah if you minus 500 to 700 around 52 uh thousand to 53 thousand exactly as uh, the bollinger band on top of that it is a fibonacci it's the 0 0.27 uh the, yeah, the 27 fibonacci looking at ethereum at the on the other end ethereum has been leading the market uh but now it you know it's kind of it's had this dump here uh this dump was you know a nice uh, a nice play to be honest this was probably a good opportunity i do think this was probably uh hit a moving average also we'll check uh, the 21 let's just bring this back sma i just deleted it can i do control z yes i can thank you very much sma1 and style bring it back okay why is that not my 21 inputs see i think it hit on the daily what is this the 21 
I mean, yeah, it wasn't playing off to 21. I mean, if it did play off to 21, I could see why this was a simple buy, but it wasn't really playing off to 21, so not sure uh, where the bounce came out of. So, but anyways, we'll take these off now. Uh, it was still respecting structure, right? We didn't close below the range or we didn't, you know, we just got bought back up. Uh, it was, you know, very, very close to my buy-in targets, to be honest. If we go in on the one hour, uh, my actually buy-in targets was down here at these the support here. And I did think that we would maybe push down just a little bit more. And, you know, here, I guess, you know, it was coming off these this section here, but made more sense down here for me. But uh, anyways, we did get bought back up now on the one hour time frame. We can see that we did uh, close bullish at support. Uh, you know, it shouldn't say that we filled the range. And if we do close the four hour above this support area here, I do think we pop up and fill the range at 1,835. And hopefully, you know, it does continue up and probably test uh, it's the previous highs. It doesn't imply a breakout looking at momentum. It does want to cross down. If we can't close above the, in in two hours above this current area, so that would be worrying. One hour would be down, and one hour is crossing down. So uh, I would like to see momentum turn up and uh, a closure above this uh, green support line here, drive targets towards the top side of the range. And with that being said, remember, guys, take care, trade sharp. Till next time, peace.